Hello everybody and welcome once again to another episode of Galactic Science 2. So, in this episode I would like to do a few things. The first thing I'd like to do is to upgrade that pulverizer with another secondary augment. So let's do that first of all. So I've got, I've already prepared as you can see the blitz powder by adding two snowballs, no, two redstone to one snowball and that produces one blizz powder. Yes, a stack of 16. That's correct. So now what we need to do is we'll have a look at this for augments. I spell it aug, A-U-G-M. And I want the secondary chance one, this one. So we need two of these cryothium dusts and four hardened glass. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Let's have a look. Oh yes, I've got two of those. No problem. But I'll make four just for the sake of it. Because we've got potassium nitrate from before, redstone, no problem, snowballs, no problem now. And then what do we what else do we want? We want this one, don't we? So I think I can do a hardened yeah, I can do a pneumatic server, no problem. What's that ironing up? Okay. And then we can then do the next one of these. It keeps moving around. I hate that. Hardened glass. I'm not sure if I've got any hardened glass with me, but we'll take some lead. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll make 32 of each. And we still need some obsidian. I want 32, actually that's, if I do it like three, huh? Can I do three? Yes. Put that back in there, that in there, and then we've got our 32 there. And then we'll put those in the assembly machine, so that can start to make us some hardened glass. We seem to be needing this, oh actually I've got plenty of that already, let's just do that, make hardened glass put those back in again because the idea what I'm working towards is to, to start to produce the rocket level 2 this is the whole purpose of this exercise at the moment and I've got some I need to make some more sand I would like to make so I basically need to make some more quartz fiber let's see we've got some sand in here we've got plenty of gravel so let's put the gravel over here now and stick another one of those in there and we get some more sand and we'll get some dust out of this so let those two run and that's the pulverizer we just need the secondary chance so what do i need is the let's have a look just those four hardened glass they won't shouldn't take too long i don't think let's have a look actually we only need two and we've got 10 already, great. They go quite nicely and fast, especially at the moment, which is, a which is actually a pleasant change. So there we have our augment feedback shift for details. That then increases the secondary chance by 81%, which is great for when we want sulfur. We don't really care about dust so much. And this is a weeny bit slow, but there's not much you can do. You can either, you've got choices. You can either put speed or you can put augments in it like that so now we're getting plenty of sand and plenty of gravel and I think I want to make the sand into dust because what I'd like to do is to make some more quartz fibers so let's have a look at the recipe for quartz fibers that is glass I need good so obviously I'd also like to upgrade this machine the redstone furnace which hasn't been upgraded at all yet and so we can make at least a speed upgrade on this one I don't I think we need anything else than this. How many does that give me? Three. That'll give me maybe enough actually. Let's have a look. We need six, don't we, to start with. Like that. And the dust I think I've been preparing over here. Oh, actually I haven't. I'm starting to prepare it. I should have got a few stacks of this phosphate Composer, composer. Yeah, I've run out of phosphate, which is good. I wanted those three stacks of that, so I can put the oxygen back again into here like that, and we can then take this out of here. Actually, I think it should have four stacks in total into here, and put the aluminium with it. That's four stacks of each, which is good because that's what we need now to do the. Um, 
let's get the recipe for the aluminium phosphate we basically want to make surtis quartz so we need this aluminium phosphate which is this one so let's put that into the machine like this and that should start to produce for us some aluminium as you can see these numbers are going down a bit like this if I want to make it nice and tidy and then we should get some stacks of this coming out of here like that I already made some rubber as you can see and I would like oh seven is plenty for the time being let's just get these done as well I take the book out of here put one of those in there oh I think it's not one of those is it what do we have to do I think it's a I think it's a t-shape yeah actually we need more but it doesn't matter very much so we've got three left that's fine and I should have some more of these which is what I actually needed oh, it's tough doing this stuff it's not so easy to autom it's not so easy to automate this I've got three of those now and I've got three six glass that should make three quartz fibers which it does and then with those other quartz fibers I've got in here I haven't got any in fact where are they all I must be all on myself but I did make some uh, fluid crystals as well some pure fluid crystals so let's put those two like that and I think yes that'll give me 12 I want some more I've got four up here that's no big deal and those will give me 16 let's put the recipe for these up on here and then we can do like that and we get 16 more of those so we've got 26 in total now which is actually not too bad we can now go and start to bring the stuff down here that was the idea wasn't it so look, can I reach that yes and that one and that one yes so we're now connected let's go downstairs should really have changed my oxygen shouldn't I I think that's what I wanted to come down so I don't really care that much oops missed We just need to be able to access some power. And shift right click that. Oh, okay, good. So we really need to access the stuff. So now we have some access down here from of the AE system. So that's what I want to achieve. So the first thing we need to do is to make some steel, I think. So we'll need to make some chemical synthesizers and maybe some decomposers. I don't think I've got actually I do have some quite a few let's have a look I've got some seven fluid import buses that's good and some ex sorry export buses which is what I want because we can import iron directly into the decomposer so I'll make some decomposers next so what do we need for that we need plenty of wood um, and plenty of that's 33 I'd like to get at least a stack I think three stacks of wood I think is good and then we want four stacks of cobblestone let's get this going as well what have we got in here I've got one enough cobblestone I've got actually let's take this out of here and put these three into that and then we just need some iron ingots and I've got a feeling we're a bit short on iron ingots at the moment so let's go and see what we've got for iron we basically want one stock of a stack of iron we've got plenty of iron here so we need another one like that and then we can basically have a stack of iron a stack of redstone and then we can put those into there and then we should be able to start to make a st I want to make a stack of these anyway I'll put that there and then we we'll put the stack of ingots in here and then we should be able to make some pistons we'll run out of um, cobblestone fairly quickly but we can easily get some more from here this is actually already empty so let's take some double compressed yeah double compressed will do we'll take those three and we'll decompress those that gives me my f nearly four stacks which is fine why am i doing this brain's gone sleepy but i do need to change my oxygen oh it's in the 
assembly table huh I wasn't desperate to do that but it just gives me a chance to have a little quick think for a second or two let's put those in there three four and then we should end up with a stack of yeah we should end up with a stack of that put that up there could actually make some ender pearls while we're thinking about it so we've got one stack of that and plenty of hardened glass that's working nicely and what else do we want to do i know we need to make some of those um so they called atomic for the synthesizer let me have a look because i can't remember i think it's called atomic a t o m -I. nope i'll do it the other way oh this one atomic manipulator so we'll make a I'll make four of those if i put the i've got to put the pistons up here of course like that again Oh, made eight fantastic okay plenty we're going to need loads so what do we want to do we want to make um i want to basically decompose some iron and some carbon okay we can do that i think do i need two decomposers to do that i'm not 100 percent sure to be honest with you I'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to take this stone over here this cobble and i'm going to take this I think there's some more cobble in here and I'm going to smelt those two de together to make some more stone wait for that one one to go and we can push this one through there can we need it's glass isn't it it's glass and what else is it for this oh, we got plenty of that and plenty of dust it's glass and uh, slabs stone slabs if I remember rightly for rationing pipes it's funny how you forget these things actually don't need these I don't need the sand with me I'll put some stuff back that I don't need I'll put this water into here that's interesting how that takes the jar whereas the um, fluid transposer doesn't take the jar it actually returns it in fact the jars themselves are actually quite expensive to make so i'm just going to put this aluminium in here and the jars as well right so i haven't taken with me yet these let's do that i want one export bus for carbon and one fluid bus for that i'm going to have to make two decomposers i'm sure of it so let's have a look for that so if we look for the uses of this and we can then do two decomposers one yeah we need some more iron ingots let's just do it like this oops i think at least 18 is fine so i've got one demi composer here one decomposer there i'm probably going to need some tra i have got any glass in the system in here 32 that will make two that will make two rationing pipes i think and some stone slabs got seven plus 78 okay let's take these i should have done it like that couldn't i that'll give me a slab that'll give me two that'll probably be no i would like some more right can i not do another one yes i can good right so now i should be able to make some more stone slabs in here oh, i've got some already but i won't have enough as it happens so glass we can put that in there and then we can make some rationing pipes turn off that that's done already let's get those back again so have i got everything i need probably need some transfer pipes as well or transfer nodes as well i've probably got some of those i have got some downstairs anyway let's do those first of all so the idea is we're gonna to have to put this at one block aren't we so mm, what can i use as a block i've only got for some reason i've got blocks of iron with me here so let's put a block of iron down there and then put onto that a chemical decomposer like that and then we can break the block of iron 
I don't know how hard that is. It's not too bad. And then here, in this one here, I've got some, yes, I've got some filters and some nodes, and actually have another rationing pipe. So what we can do here, let me break this chest. It's actually a bit slow with this one. I should use the axe, shouldn't I? Let's put a chest down here so it can stand or something. Those jumps are amazing. Those jumps are amazing. So what we're going to do is I'd like to let's start with um, charcoal uh, with coal. There's there's mini compressor coal. So we put this export bus on here now. That's going to export stuff into here, and we need to do a second one. So if I make the second one. Let's do it. Let's put it down here like this. Give it one block away, and then let's take this around here like that. I think that should do. And then we can put the fluid export bus on here like that. I'm just doing this on. I've never tried this before, so this is my first time trying this. Like that. And then we can go. I need to get some items, don't I? So I need some uncompressed coal. I'm using uncompressed coal because a you get a lot of it, and twenty-eight thousand, and it does decompose one for one, so that's pretty good. I'm also going to take a bucket of iron here. So we want that's molten iron. Put a bucket in there. How much have we got in this? Twenty thousand buckets of iron. That's I lost the bucket as well. So we come down here and then we can put, hopefully we don't fill everything up. So on this one, this is a fluid export, so we need to put the bucket of iron into here like that. And then this one here we can put the bucket of carbon into it, or the carbon into here like that. So this should fill up with carbon it is, and this should also fill up with iron it is. So that'll decompose. So all we need to do now is to bring some power. I probably haven't got enough power cables, have I? Oh, 35, yes, maybe. So let's just jump up on here like this and bring it down on the side. So I think it's probably the best place to do it. It's always funny standing on these cables, actually. No, I can't do it from there. Shift click it, I have to shift click it. If I bring this straight up, maybe one more across because we're going to put another another something else in here. Is that going to connect? Huh. That's hard. Right, that connects. So now we're going to decompose those two, and they're now going to get nice and full with, in this case, carbon, and in this case, iron, like that. So what we can then do is we can take the items out of it and put that into a, um, what are we going to put it into? We're going to put it into a synthesizer, and didn't make any synthesizers. So let's put the two nodes on here first of all. I don't need filters, that's good, because they're only going to have one item on here. And then I'm going to connect these two together into a synthesizer. Yeah, I want to go this way actually, not there. And here. And of course, this has got to go into the. I'll try shift clicking it again. Of course, it's got to go into the top of the synthesizer. That and then we just put the synthesizer there. So let's go and get make a synthesizer. Let's look at the uses of this again. This is a synthesizer recipe, so we can take a synthesizer here. I should put that coal back in there. I could also put the bucket of um, molten iron in here as well. We don't need that anymore. And we can come down. So if we put the synthesizer here like that, we can put on top of this now the a rationing pipe, and that connects in. 
which is fantastic and then we can bring this one across here like that in fact I should in that case move the power cable across so now it just needs a recipe that's interesting it's actually getting more than it's supposed to get in why should have stopped because it's got 64 of each and it doesn't matter so we want 15 of these so let's split this into three and one carbon and that'll make our steel ingots for us so of course then we've got to take these out of the bottom of this so let me you know, dig in a hole down here is always a pain but there we are maybe we can do it easily enough take one of these out here and another one and then just put one of them back oh I can't how do I do this I wanted to put one down so I could get it but if, if I do down go down here then I'll fall into the thing I suppose that's safe enough really there should be plenty of oh that just is on the side that's fine so let's just get out of here oops try again <laughs> No, nope, I can't quite get out there. Let's put this one down here like that. Oh, that's good, because then I can reach this. So then I can come along here and break that one. I think I can reach it. I can't. Don't believe it. How am I going to break that? I'll leave it. For... No, I want to break that. But it's going to be a bit difficult if I break that one. I need another one, don't I? Let's just go and get another one. Let's get some more mint while we're at it and another transfer node i think i need to make another transfer node because i haven't got enough of those oh boy so we we'll also we've got a chest with us no problem we'll clear that off and we need one block of redstone and actually let's have a look what we've got in this chest here no transfer nodes let's make about four of these things because i need loads of them one two three and then iron I've got it here already. Put those there like that. And we can then come along here. We can put these two into here like that. And say that we want some transfer nodes. Turn off this, of course. Put it back on again. And we've got our transfer nodes immediately. And for our emeralds, uh, for ender pearls, which is great. And I wanted some mint, don't I? Let's go and get some mint. 103. Half a stack's more than enough, I hope. And I also want to make a chemist journal for the same reason as I made one last time. So let's make another journal. Oh, this here, look. I need some glass. I run out of glass. I should have some glass in the uh, redstone furnace anyway, because I was making some earlier on. Oh, no. Oh, I need one piece of glass. Okay, we can make that fairly quickly with some sand. Let's get some sand out of here. 66. In fact, let's put that, must put the stone back in again because I don't need that for the time being. Uh, 32 sand will be, f 32 glass will be fine, so let's put let's put the into there take the stone out and take the next piece of glass out of here like that and the rest can cook while we're doing other things this is just one process and i need to do it. i'd like to do the same again from redstone but because we're going to need a lot of redstone so let's come along here and make that steel have i got enough carbon yes i've got carbon in here definitely I just want one and I've got um, iron in here I'm sure FE so let's take half of that 16 minus 1 it'll be 15 and that we all need to do then is put this into the oh yeah we put it to the microscope with the chemist journal so we want 15 iron and one carbon make one steel oh 
Yeah, I'm doing this wrong, aren't I? I need to take it out of here. Put the steel into the microscope like this. Take this out of here, we don't need that. The steel, good. And that's the only recipe in this book, so let's take that out of there and that out of there. And have a look, just double check the recipe, I've got the right book. Having got two in my hand is always, yep, that's the one we want. So let's put the other book back into here. I had to make another book. But I did find the old one. I'd put I'd, I'd double use the old one, so that was bad. So now we can put the chemist journal into here like that. As you can see, you get a 64 carbon in here. But I'm a bit confused as to why this is actually behaving like that. So mint. Let's put the other mint down. Where should we put this other mint so we can get out again? I suppose if we put it down here, like that, I could probably reach both of them in that case. <laughs> Maybe I can't. Ha! Huh. What am I doing wrong here? Let's take that one out of there. Go along here. Break that one. Oh, good. Now I should be able to jump out as I can. Good. And I should be able to break this one from at least from here, if not from there. Uh, they've got picked up by the other chest so that's no big deal so we'll put this one down here like that and then this one we can put also like that because we can now reach the bottom of this which is great with one of those transfer nodes we can come along here fill this we don't we can fill this up it doesn't matter having an extra bit underneath and then we can put our chest down in front of this like that okay that I think. Oh, one, probably one too far. Let's put it down like that. Break this one, get the axe out. Is that connecting? Yes, it is. So we should start to get steel in here. Fantastic. Look at that. So that's this today's little automation. It's working quite nicely. I'm going to have to do a lot of these, I reckon, for different bits and pieces. We're also going to have to do one for bronze because bronze is the same thing. And the reason for this, just in case you're not, you don't know why, what we need to make is some. Let's have a look at the rocket too. Can't spell. Well, I can't, but it didn't type my letter for some reason. So, level tier two rocket, that's a tier one. This. So, we need 10 heavy duty plates which is made with steel plates, which is where basically rolling the steel we're getting out of here. Plus, we need heavy duty tier one, which are made with refined iron plates, bronze plates, and aluminium plates. And those rolled plates make refined iron ca item casings. So we need a lot of steel, a lot of, well, aluminium's not going to be too much of a problem, and bronze. So this is the next one. So for the next, episode I'm going to make do the same setup or a similar setup for bronze so until then I'll say bye for now